Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So it's December, and I think by now most of you know that December is the month that the ATF is supposed to come out with their final rule on braced pistols. I've been getting a lot of questions from people on whether or not I'm going to register mine, or whether or not they should register theirs. Now this is all just my opinion, but we're going to talk about whether or not you should do it today. Now before we get started, I just want to say a quick thank you for watching these videos. I really do appreciate it. If you have a quick second and you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. That little thumbs up would help quite a bit. And if you have an extra second, leave a comment. That helps out with the algorithm. And when it comes to, you know, spreading the word about our rights, we need to make sure that this stuff gets out there. So again, any help would be greatly appreciated. Also check out the main sponsor of this channel down below, which is the USCCA. Let's get to it. Now, the first thing you have to realize is that there's a lot of confusion around the brace rule, and that's because documents have changed over time, and nothing is final until that final rule actually comes out. So everything right now is still up in the air, regardless of what document has come out in the past. I read a document that was totally conflicting to a more recent document that said that if you took off your brace, you had to destroy the brace, and that was directly from the ATF's website. And then I read an updated version of that document that said that, no, you, if you took it off, you didn't have to destroy it and so forth. So obviously it's fluid until we get that final rule. But the one thing that's consistent, the one thing that we do know for a fact is that they are going to want people to register it as an NFA item if registration is the route that you decide to go. There's going to be other options as well, but registration is one of their main points, right? They're saying now that if it has a brace on it, and it's shorter than 16 inches, it's going to fall under the NFA for the most part. They have a worksheet, and that worksheet is set up so that they can, you know, basically mark down the criteria that make it fall as an NFA item or not, and, and so forth. But uh, according to the worksheet that I've seen, there's no real way to know whether or not you're going to pass it. And I wouldn't take the chance of not passing it, so they're kind of forced into guessing or at least you know, assuming that it is going to fall under the NFA. So the question is from people, are you going to register yours? And the answer that I have, me personally, is no. Why would I register? It's not even in the, the realm of possibilities for me. If I was going to register anything under the NFA, it would be an SBR. So, you know, and I would put a, a, a regular stock on it. I wouldn't even worry about the brace. That's because you have the same rules and the same regulations that are going to govern both once they're registered. So both are gonna be NFA items, which means regardless if it has a brace or a stock, both items are gonna be under the same scrutiny, which means if you have something with a brace on it, it doesn't give you like any more leeway. You still can't leave the state without filling out some type of form. You can't cross state lines or take it with you to you know family or relative's house without filling out that form and having a waiting period. The, the rules are gonna be the same for both. So if for some reason I was going to go through the registration route, I would find a way to register it as an SBR and just be done with it and be able to use what I want to use with it, right? And not be stuck with that brace on there that is just a brace. Now, like I said before, I don't plan on registering anything. And it's not because I you know, want to be some type of rebel. It's because I don't want to give them any more of my money. I don't want to give them any more of my time. I don't want them to have any more control and put regulations on something that I legally own. I don't want to go in that direction. So for me, that's just totally off the table. I would rather go with one of the other options. Now, I'm not endorsing or supporting any of these other options by any means. I think this is totally unconstitutional. I think there's going to be legal challenges pretty much immediately after the uh, rule comes out. But for me, the registration isn't even there. You know, some of the other options that you could take are simply to take it off, right? You, depending on the platform, you could maybe put a, a foam cover on it from, you know, these guys right here. You could um, remove it all together. Again, depending on the platform, you could remove it all together. I mean, for me, I'd rather go that route than give them any more of my time, money, and allow them to place more restrictions on something that I legally own. And again, I'm not endorsing this in any way, but knowing that there's going to be legal challenges that could maybe get an injunction placed on this so it doesn't come into play or, you know, legal challenges that could eventually overturn it. You know, I don't want to go the direction where it's, it's too late if they overturn the rule because now I've already given them all of my information, my money, and the, regu the regulations are now going to be there, right? I don't want to do that. 
So I heard there's going to be a 120 day period after the final rule where the rule would actually go into effect. So if that's true, then we're looking around April where the rule would actually take effect, which obviously is going to give us some more time to get those lawsuits in and to try and get this thing stopped before it would actually take effect. But one thing that I think people still really need to understand is that until that final rule comes out, we pretty much don't know anything. You know, we have the documents, we have all the previous documents that they've submitted, you know, or they've put out to the public in the past. But until that final rule comes out, we, we don't have exactly what the options are and exactly what they're going to be looking at. I've heard some people say they're not going to, you know, ask for that $200 tax and there's going to be an amnesty on that tax as well. But we don't know that for a fact either. They could charge the tax. They could maybe not charge the tax. Uh, what the options are once you remove it, still not set in stone until they come out with that final rule. So until then, you just kind of have to wait because everything again is up in the air. But my opinion is what I just previously said. That's my opinion. You have to make your own opinion based on the final rule once that comes out. So I just wanted to kind of answer some people's questions that have been asking me whether I'm going to register mine or they should register theirs. That's my opinion on the matter. I want to thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day.